What's up guys? Today I have a really cool modification for the Honda Pioneer. Uh, it's going to be a really quick video, but it's something that is really, really awesome and probably one of the best mods we've put on the Pioneer so far. It makes a huge difference. We've actually been using it for quite a while now, but it's just one of the small mods that just made a huge difference. So I wanted to take it off, show you what it is, and show you how to install it, and just explain how much better it makes the riding experience in the Pioneer. It's such a simple thing. So what we're talking about is this Throttle Max pedal extension for the Pioneer. If you own a Pioneer, you probably have experienced how terrible of an angle the gas pedal is at. Uh, you really got to kink your foot up to hit the gas pedal, especially when you're not going really fast. Your foot's at <clears throat> like a terrible angle all day and it can make for a really long day of riding. And I don't know why they designed it like that, but man, it's just so uncomfortable. Uh, and the pedal's really small, so you can't move your foot a whole bunch to reposition. And I mean, it, you notice it really quick how how bad the angle is. It doesn't take long for your ankle to get just sore. But this clips onto your pedal and extends the pedal and puts your foot at a different angle. I'll show you in the machine kind of what I'm talking about. But this thing works insanely well. You'll see it does have wear on it and everything because we've used it. it. But I really think this is a great mod so I wanted to share it with you. This Throttle Max kit for the Honda Pioneer 1000 costs $89.95 before tax from the Throttle Max website. Uh, that's what we paid for it and that's what it is today. Uh, if you don't have a Honda Pioneer, they have them for a lot of different machines. I didn't know it actually. They have it for the k Mavericks, the Commander, Defender, the Kawasaki T-Rex, uh, the Pioneer 500 and 700, Articat Prowler, Rhino, um, even the YXZ. <clears throat> That's weird. I don't, I've never really noticed in my YXZ needing an extension to the throttle. The YXZ is pretty comfortable. Uh, they also make it for the Polaris Rangers, um, Wildcat Mules which we're filming on right now. We're filming on a Kawasaki Mule. <laughs> uh, Yamaha Viking, Wolverine, the KRX, the Honda Talon, um, and then Razor 800, 900. So they actually make these for a lot of machines. So if you don't have a Pioneer, but you still could use a throttle extension, uh, yeah, check out that website because they have them for a lot of machines. So right now I'll show you the issue with the pedal and then I'll show you how to install this and just show how much better it works. All right, so currently, if you're gonna go slow, your foot is up at such a bad angle here and holding it up, I can feel a lot of strain right now, right in the front of my leg. It would be nice if my foot was down about like that or even if it was in front of me a little more, but the pedal's just so small and so close to you your foot's at a really bad angle. I'd like to rest down there. It just, it hurts just sitting here. So a day of riding, man, that, that'll really make your leg tired. All right, let's get this thing installed now. Uh, so I think the easiest way is to just thread the bolts in a little bit and make sure the straps fastened on there. Leave quite a bit of room to put the pedal in here. Uh, you'll notice that this has a slit in it. That slit is to go around the rib of this gas pedal. So you're gonna slide it underneath like that. And then it's just a five millimeter Allen wrench. We'll tighten it down. Just kind of do it even on both sides. You don't have to over tighten it. You can snug it up just pretty good so it's not gonna slip off of there. 
All right, now that it's installed, you can see your foot doesn't have to be way up here. Now you can just push down here and you have a lot more throttle control and it just slides forward. That's so much better. It, it works really good. And it, that goes all the way down too. So you have just a lot more control. I could ride like this all day. That's so much better. The only potential issue I see would be that you're going to wear your floor a little bit because it does slide, which we're not all that worried about it. We've used it quite a bit and it's not really all that wore down. You can feel the knobs are a little bit worn, but it's really not that bad. You could put something on the bottom of it to, you know, help it glide a little easier, but you know, until it gets wore down a little more, we're not going to worry about it. I mean, it works amazing. It's definitely, definitely worth doing. I have seen people that haven't wanted to spend the money to buy this kit and they've used a like barn door hinge. I'll show a picture of that real quick and just show how they set it up. So, I mean, they did it like that. They, uh, you know, only paid, you know, under 10 bucks probably to get it done. And I'm sure it works good. I like the clean, nice look of this. It's all polished and laser cut. I didn't want a door hinge, you know, but it works. Just, just the idea of this is really awesome. All right, that's it. I told you it was gonna be a quick video. That is probably gonna be our shortest video. But I thought it was really important to share this with people because it is kind of an issue with the Pioneer, how uncomfortable that is. So I thought the more people that know about it, the better. Um, so it's a super simple install. You should be able to do it in like 10 minutes. The hardest part might be finding the wrench. <laughs> you know, it's super easy, super well made. So it fits up perfectly. But yeah, uh, we're just making some tweaks to the Pioneer. My dad doesn't ride it a lot. Uh, in the last Pioneer video we put out, uh, we did the insulation underneath the seat. We bought a kit online to put insulation under the seat and in the back footwell as well to keep the heat out. This thing is miserable inside the cab, but uh, we put that heat pad in there and it helped tremendously. Cut down the heat almost completely. So if you got a Pioneer and you have problems with it getting really hot in the cab, check out that video. I'll link it up here and in the description. If you like this video or if it helped you out, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. That would really help us out. Uh, it allows us to, you know, build more subscribers, make more money per video, and uh, then we can buy more parts and uh, do more things to share with you guys. Uh, it just helps us out a lot. So if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. If this is your first time on the channel, Maybe check out some of our other videos. We have a lot of uh, off-road videos, side-by-side, -side, sport quads, snowmobiles, just a lot of off-road stuff in general, group ride stuff, just a lot of cool stuff. So check out some of our other videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.